Hey everybody, it's Brian from Carving is Fun. I got a quick little video here that just popped into mind while I was doing a fun little project for myself. One of the most frequent comments on this channel is from people saying, oh, I just cut myself, um, I didn't realize how sharp the knife was, or I thought I, could get, uh, I didn't need the gloves to protect my fingers. And then they end up resulting, they need stitches. Um, and then they're always saying at the end, I should have just listened to you and worn a glove. The gloves are really nice to have just as a, it's more of like a precaution for me because I know myself. So sometimes I feel like I don't know where my fingers are or I'm just so focused in on what I'm doing. I lose track of where everything is and the knife just all of a sudden gets me. It's happened before. It's happened when I was making some videos in the past. The gloves have saved me multiple times from having a really, really bad cut because my knives are crazy sharp, guys. I mean, you already see just like how easily I can take off, shave off the wood on this piece of basswood here. It's, my knives are sharp. So basically what I'm saying here is just wear gloves. They're, they're not expensive at all. They save you from having an expensive uh, hospital visit. Um, so it's just, if you're just new to it, pick them up. They're, they're cheap. Uh, I see them for the basic ones for like five bucks. Uh, these ones are like 12 to 15 bucks, depending on which brand you get. This one that I'm wearing now is from, uh, and a uh, pretty decent glove. This basic, it has the rubber grips on it. It doesn't leave black marks all over the wood. Um, really nice quality glove. You'll probably, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll also see that I wore, wear the Dex Fit ones. I just wear whichever ones I grab. Um, these ones have been falling apart. I've been using them a lot. They're not indestructible and they do wear out. So, but again, they're, they're cheap. Like uh, the basic ones are like five bucks, which have no rubber grip on them. And then you got the one the rubber dipped palm ones, which are like 12 to 15 bucks if you get a nice one. Uh, you can also use self-adhering ace wrap, which is what I have on my thumb here. It's just, it's not really slice resistant, but it protects your, your finger if you accidentally like bump it or anything like that. So you're not going to accidentally cut yourself. I'll have links for these in the description if you uh, want to pick some up for yourself. But it's really guys, it's just like a, to me, it's a basic thing for beginners. It helps prevent you from accidentally cutting yourself and allows you to safely enjoy what you're you're doing a little bit uh, a little bit easier so it's you're not having to worry about oh I'm gonna uh, worry about cut your finger or if you accidentally get a little bit of red on your or you don't get any red on your uh, your carbon project here so you can carve more comfortably I guess is what it is you're not having to worry about hurting yourself like even other carvers you'll see on on YouTube um, I'm just gonna use Doug linker as a as an example because he he even says in one of his videos before that uh, he's cut himself pretty badly on his fingers and I think he has some nerve damage where he can't really feel certain part on certain parts of his fingers. I would hate for you guys to have to go through that too. Um, like even for me, I, I like to wear my gloves because I work with very fine um, electronic components for my primary job. So I'm dealing with components that are size of like pepper flakes. So if you sneeze, you're going to blow them, uh, blow all the components away. That's how small of stuff I'm working with, and I need the dexterity of my fingers. So I don't want to hurt them, cut them, or lose any sort of feeling in them. That would be pretty bad for my job. Oh no, I broke it. Whatever. So yeah, take care of yourself, guys. I mean, protect your fingers, protect your hands. You don't need to accidentally hurt yourself or put yourself in a situation where you might accidentally cut yourself. Ooh, there's a funky spot in that wood there. Yeah, I'll fix that up a little bit. That spot is a little bit softer than normal. Oh well, it happens. If you guys want to see some other glove options, I made a whole video of like with a whole bunch of different options for gloves. I'll I'll have that linked up in like the corner up over here or something like that. So, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have yourselves a good one.